Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I'll be unboxing the first gen iPod Nano. So I've got one here in actually pretty good condition. Um, it's still in its box and everything, and I'm pretty sure it's got everything inside apart from the charging cable, so keep that in mind. But yeah, of course guys, this has been opened before, it's not sealed. If this was sealed, I would definitely not be unboxing it. So anyway, let's just have a quick look at the box. Uh, it's just got some information down here, picture of it. It's got a picture on the back from the side. I'm pretty sure that's actually like an accurate um, image of it. Same size. So up here it says two gigabytes. This is a two gigabyte edition. You can fit 500 songs on it and it says PC plus Mac. So I guess that works for both PC and Mac. So anyway, there's like a shiny Apple logo. Let's go ahead and unbox this right now. So it literally just slides out like that. It's quite a nice design actually. And then I'm pretty sure it just opens like that. And then here's the iPod itself, so I'm just going to take that out quick. I'll get to the iPod at the end. It seems to be stuck in there quite well. There you go. But anyway, so there isn't really much to this. Um, it's got a section in here which actually opens, and this is where all of the accessories are. So let's just have a look. So it comes with this sort of like package of everything in. And then I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff in here. Right, so that's the box done. Okay, so right here we've got a um, the iPod connection to USB. So I guess this is for PC. It says it's for a camera or something. So um, yeah, I'm not quite sure why it has a camera picture on there. But there you go. Well, this thing definitely can't take any pictures. So that's kind of strange, but that's that. Then it also comes with the vintage um, Apple headphones, so very nice, I actually really like the um, style of these. And then it also comes with this um, small pack, I'm not actually sure what's in here, it's probably just leaflets and stuff like that. So let's just take everything out of this. Some leaflets in there, just leaflets. So we've got some instructions, some vintage Apple stickers, they're pretty cool. They're a lot bigger than the ones you get now. Um, iPod Nano instructions in Spanish, we've got some more leaflets. And got something else here, what's that? Oh, it's like a small um, carry case or something for you to put your iPod in. It's pretty cool. So now actually onto the iPod itself. Here it is, I believe it's got charge actually, so it's a bit, um, it's actually in pretty good condition, not too many scratches, you can see right there. So can we focus on that, I'm not sure. But it's 2 gigabyte. it was made in, does it say when it was made? 2005. So, what's that, 13 years old now? Blimey, so this thing's 13 years old, so that's pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and um, power this on. So it's actually on hold right now, so I believe if I take it off hold, um, then I can actually use the scroll wheel. Oh, is that how it works? Oh yeah, it does work like that, okay. Right, so obviously with the iPod, you use the scroll to scroll up and down. Um, you can go into settings. Um, let's go in about actually, see what it says. So it says 67 songs on here, 1.8 gigabyte, 1.5 available. There's a model number, format Windows, that's probably because we connected to Windows PC. And it's version 1.1.1, so that might be the latest firmware for this. I have no idea. So it's got a backlight timer, clicker, all kinds of stuff. I don't want to reset, so let's go back to the menu. So it's got all kind of music on here. I'm not going to play any because it will be copyright and I don't like any of these songs anyway. But yeah, um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure you, this can be hacked as well with something called Rockbox. So if you guys want to see a video on that, then I, that's something I could possibly do. So it's got clock on here, obviously music, shuffle songs. Yes, yeah, so it's a fairly um, basic design. Still has a really nice um, backlight touchscreen as well. 
it's um, super thin as well. I really like the design of this. If the screen was maybe a tiny bit bigger, um, it would be really nice. But yeah, there you go. That's the um, first gen iPod Nano. So to turn it off, you just put it back onto hold. So you just slide that and then eventually the backlight will power off because once it's on hold, you can't click or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.